Hey everyone, it's Caroline and welcome or welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I wanted to start another reading vlog. I do have a pretty big TBR for this week and I'm hoping I can get through all these books that I will talk about in a moment. The first book I will be reading is The Cruel Prince. Yes, I will finally be finishing it. I stopped reading it. I took like a two week break from reading it. And then I decided that since I have like 100 pages left, why not finish it today? So I will be finishing finishing this today, hopefully. I'm gonna make myself finish it today, no matter what. Next, we have Harry Soto is Back by Taylor Jenkins Reid, and I am currently 68 pages in, and I'm really, really, really loving this one so far. I am a huge tennis fan, and I love playing tennis as well, so this book is obviously so fun to read. Um, if you don't know what it's about, it's about a tennis player who is, when she retires, the greatest tennis player in the world, and then when someone matches her record of 20 grand slams she comes out of retirement to rejoin the game and then the next book i have is sitting pretty by rebecca tossig this is a common reading book for all the first years for college so like all the first years will be reading this book and i have not started it yet but it is about like 230 pages and it's a collection of essays so i'm going to be trying to read this all this week. I think that it's definitely doable. And then I have one more book. I'm about like 10% done with the audiobook of Divergent because let's find it on my bookshelf. Um because I recently read Fourth Wing and I loved it and it reminded me a lot of Divergent just in like the kind of choosing the different group of like the college you want to go to kind of like they choose what faction they want to be in in Divergent and I was like I need to read this again. So when I was cleaning my room this morning, I found the audiobook on Libby and I started listening to it. So I'm just remembering why I liked this book so much. These are the four book, oh my, are you kidding me? Okay, these are the four books that I will be attempting to read this week. I'm probably, you know what, the three books that I will be attempting to finish this week, I will be just attempting to make more progress in this. So I want to get through all three of these books. I think it's definitely doable. I will come back in a little bit with an update and and showered. I do have a big update. Last night I finished The Cruel Prince and I ended up giving it four stars. If you haven't read The Cruel Prince, it's basically split into two books, book one and book two. And book two was like five stars on its own, but like I couldn't give it five stars because of book one. I just, I was a little bit bored, so. I loved the ending. I love the banter between Cardin and Jude. I thought that book two was just phenomenal. So I'm definitely really excited to read the next book, The Wicked King. I would recommend, I think that it is slow in the beginning, but once you reach like the 70% mark, I think that it's really hard to put down. And also some other things I liked were Jude as a character. I think that the decisions she makes are not really for the good of herself, but for the good of people she cares about. And then I just loved the overall setting of Elfheim. And I just thought that the whole world is just so like magical and I just loved reading about it. So I'm very excited to continue the folk of the air trilogy and yeah so one out of four books now and then i guess i'll just go through my updates on divergent next i am on page 67 and this is just bringing me back i just can't even believe that i was like 12 13 when i read this and i just remember thinking like all the characters were just so old and like they just seemed so grown up and reading this now i'm 18 so being two years older than tris and the same age as four i'm like i feel so old and i'm kind of sad about that but i don't know i'm really enjoying it I've just been listening to it like whenever I can and I am finding it hard to stop listening because I'm so into it. So that's my update on Divergent and then Carrie Soto is back. I'm on page 79. I I'm gonna say page 80. I'm on page 80. Really enjoying it and I haven't really been reading it 
as much because I've been reading Cruel Prince. I'm hoping to get back into it today. And then sending pretty. I am eight pages in. I have one little post-it note and I'm really liking the narration and the author's voice so far in this book. So I am excited to continue reading these three books today and excited to put this one back in my brother's bookshelf. Okay, I'll talk to you later. I'll come back with another update. big reading update so like an hour ago I finished sitting pretty and I wrote my thoughts down in the back <laughs> this book made me think so differently about accessibility and the portrayal of disabilities in the media and Rebecca Tosig writes that the creators may have like good intentions of inclusivity but they end up enforcing stereotypes and many times Tosig writes how many new ideas and how adaptable we as a society can become if we just listen and i am so so glad that i read this book i would definitely 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 recommend it so that is sitting pretty by rebecca tossig and so this is my second book that i finished in this vlog so now i will be returning to carrie soto is back that is my update and i will talk to you later <music> update so it has happened i have finished carrie soto is back by taylor jenkins reed and i loved this book i gave it five stars i knew i was gonna give it five stars from pretty early on and it's definitely a new favorite i just loved everything about it i feel like taylor jenkins reed does such a good job at writing characters and carrie soto felt like such a real person i feel like something that's, that i really liked was the relationship between carrie and her father slash coach i just loved reading about their relationship and i just loved everything about this book so i don't know I'm going to move on but I think that my next read like while I'm finishing up Divergent because I'm like 60% of with that so I will be reading Daisy Jones and the Six and yeah so I'm really excited to read that. That's my update and I will talk to you tomorrow maybe because it is Sunday and I did start this vlog last Monday. I think I'm going to end this vlog tomorrow so that is my update and I will talk to you tomorrow. That was a big mistake. <laughs> <laughs> Don't look. Oh, I still have both. The Remnants, Benjamin's work. Benjamin, what do you have to say about the turnout of the cake? So, um, I basically <laughs> did the whole. Why don't you add more sprinkles? <laughs> I think it does not look bad. So, like, it kind of it looks fine, but like, I don't know. I think that <laughs> the sprinkles on the one like made it look like you were trying to like cover up mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> I, I had one bucket of Caroline, the sweatshirt looks cute on you. Thanks, can I keep it? No, what are you doing? Okay, that concludes our interview. Hey everyone, it is Monday afternoon and I am just coming on here to end this reading vlog. I had such a good reading week this week and so I just thought I would do a quick recap of all the books I've read. Okay, so the first book I finished was The Cruel Prince by Holly Black. I really loved this book. I gave it four stars and I already kind of said my thoughts about it so I don't really need to speak on that anymore but I had to close my curtain because the light was like weird. The second book I finished was Sitting Pretty by Rebecca Toss 
classic. I also said my thoughts on this one, but I really enjoyed it and I would definitely recommend as well. And then the last book I finished in this vlog was Carrie Soto is Back by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I adore this book. It is definitely a new favorite and I give it five stars. I would give it more than five stars if I could, but I loved this book and I can't wait to reread it. Those are the, all the books I finished in this vlog. And then I have two that I'm currently reading. So first, Divergent. I've been slowly making progress in this all week and I am on page 374. So I only have like 100 pages left and I'm totally enjoying my reread of it. And then my last current read is Daisy Jones and the Six, also by Taylor Jenkins Reid. So I am currently on page 52. I'm really, really enjoying this. And right now I feel like it might be another five stars. I don't really know. So these are the five books I read. <laughs> no, no, no. These are the five books I have read or am reading currently. And that is my week in books. So that is my final update. Thank you so, so much for watching and for, you know, following me on my reading journey this week. I hope that you enjoyed this video. And again, thank you so, so much for watching. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.